CLA. And the topic what I have chosen is uh, current value table and simple messaging communication library, reference library. The objective of this presentation to uh, to introduce you like uh, to introduce you or to use the reusable code that has already been existing and that is proven code like so. Uh, so basically I'll be just showing you the in the code how it works. I'll be showing you the core architecture how those uh, uh, current value table and simple TCP messaging works. So based on that, hopefully you will be definitely able to use it in your uh, coming project. So basically CVT is uh, uh, developed by NI system engineers and it's uh, built on top of action engine or uh, you can say uh, functional global variables. So it's based on the lookup tags. So we'll be uh, searching based on the predefined tables of data and that can be initialized with a XML file and that can be uh, CVT can be used to store and to retrieve the data asynchronously uh, from the different part of application. This is the basic intro. I'll be giving you more core details how it works for in the code and the same thing this applies for like simple messaging communication. This is, so both the topic what I have chosen is related to a data communication and these are the uh, once you it once you're doing the uh, like large scale application when you're talking to a multiple system right. A communication plays a very critical role and your communication system should be very robust right that's for the aim of taking this two topic and this two topics exist parallelly right so and regarding this simple messaging communication this is uh, to talk to a network if you have a two system you want to talk to within the network right so this is a uh, uh, this is a library for that again this is a developed by ni system engineers and it's based on the tcp ip and udp and it's easily packaged and you can easily use for your command based communication also and it's based on the meta uh, meta uh, information for easy of data manipulation so it uses a metadata to metadata is nothing but a data which refer to another data so and uh, again this as it is based on the tcp ip and udp it can be used for to communicate with other uh, programming language also right so like uh, you can talk to a c or c plus but there are other communication method that you can used to communicate within the network like network streams are there right and network shared variables are there but those communications are not compatible if you are talking about uh, uh, a non labview programming environment or you are talking about uh, different targets right so this is the two topic i'll go uh, to the example that show you how this things in the core its work right so uh, this is uh, example for uh, i'll just show you one by so this is no, this is for uh, CVT. So how CVT uh, under the hood works, right? So CVT is as I again repeat is current value table is based on the function global variable. This has been used if you are talking about a, a, a high channel count or if you have a high tax value, right? So if so how to work efficiently to use those uh, to communicate across the uh, across the process as you can see. So as you can see right now uh, I have a two loops. So uh, I can use the CVT across the processes. In lab you can think as a process as a two different while loops. You can think as a two different process. So how it works, right? So I'll just explain you base course so that it will be very useful and you definitely you can build on that. So basically we we select, so we have this uh, create a tags. So we create a tags, we select a data type and we give them proper name, right? So how it works, so internally it works based on the, uh, maybe you have heard about this, uh, uh, set and uh, set and get uh, art, uh, variants attributes, right? This is the efficient way if you if you want to search something or you want to look up from a predefined data, right? Instead of going for array search, you should go for uh, using variant attributes. This is one of the best and uh, efficient in the performance, right? So we store these values. If you see, right? I'll just quickly explain how things work so internally. So we have selected this tags value from that VI and APIs and we set it here and we use this. So it will be storing in a buffer you can say. So it will be stored in a buffer or you can say it's using this uh, API, right? So and this will be storing in the in the in the array and will be used. Sorry, it will be storing in the shift register and we'll be looping it back that will be useful. So basically idea is to store or to create a buffer. We'll be using a get variants attributes and to look up we'll be using a uh, you can see maybe uh, uh, 
get uh, attribute uh, uh, variance attribute to look up and to search the based on the tag right this is the main vi we use to create a tag right use this vi will create a tag and we'll use this get variance and set variance uh, attributes vi to create a buffer or you can say after that what we'll be doing so as you can see there are reads and writes are there right so I, i'll show you open how to how things work internally so basically will be will not be doing uh, if you talk about uh, if you want to search something from the uh, array of string you will mostly we use search uh, search uh, uh, 1d search array right that search that is also a binary uh, search but here the indexing and the replacing of data has been done in the replace array replace uh, and uh, indexing this is efficient way like you can see this so while reading uh, sorry where we are Sorry, sorry. So again over the tag. So we'll be reading based on the indexes. We have already created a tag. We'll be reading the indexes. And based on the indexes, we have already created an array. So we'll be retrieving back the data based on the indexes. So this indexes has been created in the first VI based on the tag and based on the uh, the data type what we have been selected over here, right? So this is the like overall things works internally. So we have we have uh, this tags here. we create we use this uh, set and get variance attributes to create a buffer right and based on that we'll be searching that and the data will be putting in the array it will be putting in the array i'll just show you how to where we are keeping that uh, as you can see if you are adding a tag right so you can go to this here so you can see here so here we are adding the you can see right so we are adding any any value right so we are adding it here so we are putting in this memory back and if you want to read we are reading it right based on the indexes so this is the overall the in depth core how it works out so we use index array we use replace subset array we use vari uh, set variance and get variance to uh, to store the data and to retrieve we use uh, indexes uh, array index and replace array replace subset right so it, this is the one of the efficient uh, way of storing a tag right this is a proven architecture or a design pattern that has been used and has been used by multiple developer right so this is the one and i'll just uh, so this is if you're talking about inter process right you can use this for inter process communication so again i will repeat this two loops you can understand as a two processes in the lab you i'll move now to uh, how we can use this simple tcp ip messaging right so i have a uh, uh, just i'll just show you how things work out here so this is uh, uh, is based on the tcp ip and udp ip right so i'll just explain you how internally it's work out right so i have a i have a simple example here uh, i'll just show you so i have a client example this is a basic example it's available from a website or from ni so we can retrieve it Uh, so i have a client and i have a uh, server right so basically how it works so we as tcp ip so we need to create a metadata right so internally so actually here the abstraction layer it's hidden so internally the tcp ip communication has been hidden we need to just use the apis and we need to have the metadata and corresponding data what we want to send it up so we you are using this metadata to select like you can see this example so how it works internally if you have given a metadata of array right internally this vi will create a packet right so there is a some you have to have a data sequence you have a, a meta id and there will be a data so we will not be sending the metadata or the array every time will be again doing here based on the indexing so if you if you want to do anything which you want to perform you want to get a high performance right in the run time we should not do any memory allocation right so in lab view if you are dealing with uh, index array and replace array right is the efficient way of working with any 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 algorithm right so mostly here also if you see will not be sending this array or this metadata every time what will be doing will be doing internally this core vi what it is doing is okay this is here we are uh, just okay. this is just we are uh, uh, putting in the packet right and i'll just show you the indexes what okay i'll just show you the indexes how the indexes so you can see this vi right so basically this metadata right 
what we have that has been converted to an index right so in the client side will be accessing this metadata or command based on the indexes again back this is also one of the efficient way of doing a, a, a network communication right there are other communications also there are network communication there are shared variables but that will not work if you want to go for a, a different platform or or a different as programming languages right so as you can see again it is uh, has been converted to string and it's again packed in a one a format like data size and metadata id and the data actually so this is the thing is work again back so how it works we need to have the same data here i'll just run this so if you see this client example over here so this client example has if the connection has been stabilized the first iteration the the client will get this metadata only in the first iteration after that based on the indexing it will iterate which command to execute or which sequence to execute right so this is what the two things uh, it works in the under the hood and this is there are a lot of applications are there of that you can use this tcp ip for command based uh, the way we use in the queues right we have a, a string for a message and we have a message data right same can be implemented if you want to do with a network communication right so you can use the same uh, uh, reference library to communicate within the network also so uh, the uh, that's all i have uh, covered and if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer any questions